Illinois Nation. So today's video is a video by Classic with a K in the beginning. It's called Most Spoiled Kids Compilation. I want to know about being spoiled. I grew up poor. I got stuff here and there, but not all the time, so I wouldn't know. But I have seen some spoiled kids and they are bastards. They are hardcore bastards. Man, back when I was a kid, like I was wondering like, oh shit, you got all the Power Ranger toys? You son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> oh, these eaters are gonna bring back memories and I'm gonna be pissed off or jealous or annoyed. Or one of the three. Anyways, let's full screen this and let's do this shit. Today, I bring you guys the most spoiled kids compilation. I had to go through so much YouTube videos to find these kids, but these kids are just god awful. Hopefully, they learned their lesson at all oh, before they're the most awful. Or okay. else this world is becoming very frightening. But without further ado, I will roll the clips of the most spoiled kids on YouTube. Let's do it. I love each and every one of you guys and enjoy the compilation. When I was 16, my parents bought her uh, out of the basement. When Audrey turned 16, her mother bought her a Lexus. Then MTV built a show around it and made the world hate her. You know what? Happy birthday! That's yours. Oh shit! Thanks, mom. Oh, my God, I want my car now. Oh, I want my car now. I told her not to get it. I wanted to get my car. I didn't want the car. That's not even the car you wanted. I'm such an idiot. I That's not the car. You fuck what? Everything. Look at it. It's an amazing car. The brain's off. I'm taking Audrey's side on this one. Her mom's a bitch and did ruin the party. Right my arm. And that hurt. You don't give me the right to strike me with your elbow. Dude, the first time you went like that to me, I ignored it. And you jabbed me again. I didn't jab and I could you. see where it was going and what I said to you, and this was a word of warning. I jabbed you. I did not jab you. I you jab me. I was petrified. And what I said to you is physical acts of aggression get taken very seriously on an airplane. I if you she... begin to get aggressive, they will put handcuffs on you. I was getting your attention. I did this. I was tapping your arm with my arm. I had I arm... Went like that. I had told you on more than one occasion that I wasn't putting the volume down. Well, you know what? I kept asking because it was driving me crazy. So then you decided to do this. And after the second one, I gave you one back as a way to say, stop it. So and you said that's enough? Exactly. No, yeah, you got my attention, but I'm not a dog. So why don't you heed my suggestions of stop it when I ask politely? Because you're not Damn, white people. Boss of me. I control my body. Afraid to beat their child. You, and you don't have the yeah. right to hear me. Man, just me. wait until you get them in your me. home and then beat the you're crap out of them. With my <laughs> <and> stop them <laughs> and talk. <laughs> Brown parents, we don't care. Our parents didn't care. They waited until we got into our house and just beat the crap out of us for being little shits. And we grew up right. Look at this kid. Just talking back to his mother. When a mother says to be quiet, if I did that, I, I'd be so dead. When a teacher says something, she's the boss of you and you should listen. Give me a turn to speak. Did he say shut up to his mind? Oh, oh my God! How does it feel to be told? White kids get away with a lot of shit. We've talked about. Oh my God! How does that feel? Do not put your hands on me. I would have been so dead if I slapped my mom or told her to shut up. You know what? Shut up. Apparently, that's the only one that gets your attention. Every time I see white kids telling their moms to shut up or slap the shit out of them or disrespect them in any way, I'm so in awe. I'm going, what the fuck? How are you not dead? And slapped me across the face. That absolutely surprised me. I did let you slap her on the cheek to show her how that Slap on the cheek? So I hope that that made her think about what she does. You know what? Makes her think what she does. If you continue to be mean, what? I try to apologize, say, you know what, I should not have said that, and I am sorry. And then you come back with, well, all I'm trying to do is treat you nicely. I'm just trying to be nice to you. That's mean. This conversation would have been over 20 seconds in if it wasn't white kids. 
if it was any Sutter kid that's not white, this conversation would have been over in 20 seconds. All right, I accept your challenge, okay? It's next time. I'll bring my card to school. Okay? If I can beat you, word. You're gonna beat a retired guy. Where's Deck is Joey's? No, Pegasus Deck is Sutter. Yeah. Pegasus No, Pegasus can actually do something, because if you just cost 500 life points, a tune can attack you directly. So like automatic minus three thousand. Yeah, yeah, that mom knows what's up. Wabuka. Look at it. Look at it. That's what my mom does. Yeah. Give me warnings like you don't shut the fuck up. You're gonna get your ass beat. Swords are revealing light. Yeah. Everything I can count on everything. Yep. The biggest cheat. No, just find a way. No, just find a way. And look at him. The kid's like, oh, wait. Oh. Is he about to take a shit? Look how smart the mom is. He was like, she's not beating his ass there, but as soon as they get home. Oh boy! <laughs> Enjoy your beating at home, kid. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> you know that shit's gonna happen. what he get wants. Not what he gets, I meant what he wants. He's gonna get whatever the hell he was bitching about. All I can figure is that Russell Peters uh, comedy sketch segment like where it goes like white parents versus brown parents. White parents like to me <laughs> You know what we talk about fuck you mom like I don't know what to do with him Is he doing yoga now? Looks like he's doing yoga. This is why I don't like kids. Jaden, stop! Stop hitting me! White kids, man. Holy shit. Jaden, stop. Here, stop. Take this. Yes. Stop now. Yes. We're sitting on the couch. Yes, we are. Stop hitting and kicking. This little shit. This is one reason I don't want kids. Because they're little shits. Then stop hitting me. Sure, you can have like a good kid, but you know he does some stupid shit. Cause we all have done some stupid shit. I ain't going through that shit. Do you need to be squeezed? Huh? Stop! 
At least not a kid in my DNA, because I was a monster when I was a kid. From the stories my mom told me when I was like two to five. I'm pretty sure I got a lot of beatings, but the stories she told me. What kind of stories, you ask? Well, you know how you say stranger danger, you're not supposed to talk to strangers? My mom always said never talk to strangers or never accept candies from strangers. I gave no shits. I went around talking to all the strangers in the world. And my mom would find me talking to some random stranger in the park and the guy would be like, wondering who the, why is this kid talking to me? Yeah. Or I would piss off the balcony. Yes, you heard that right. On passing strangers. Yeah. I pissed off the balcony. Or the one time I was playing hide and seek with my grandma and almost gave her a heart attack and almost made her call 911 because she thought I was missing. Because she couldn't find me and she thought someone kidnapped me because I wound up hiding in the cupboard. Little kid brain, man. Almost got called on the cops on me to find me. This guy, man. This guy. You better not, but he will. You always gotta get that last one in, don't you, buddy? Don't hit me, don't kick me, and don't knock any rocks over. Understood? Do you get it? No. This is not the father. Because he's laughing his ass off.
security? How much security do you need? Oh my god. Yeah, that's definitely why I don't want kids ever. Because they can be nasty little shits with tantrums that never stop. Uh, I don't know, man. These kids are horrific. Just horrific. So, no, seriously, I don't want any kids ever. And with that, I'm just going to end it like that because I don't know what else to say because fuck me. These kids are the fucking antichrist. <sighs> Anyways, take it easy, humanoid nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye. Los chilenos no multiplicamos, hay un problema, lo solucionamos, por todo el mundo los chilenos andamos, de bonichoro ahí no paramos, tecnología muy avanzada.